Welcome back. Oregon has a long history of wearable design, being the home of companies like Nike and Pendleton. That's right, and the Portland Garment Factory is adding their mark to make designs like those more sustainable. Fox News Io Elise is here now with more on their story. Hi, Io. Hi, yeah, the Portland Garment District was created 14 years ago with the idea of producing creative, sustainable designs. And despite a fire where they lost everything, they're back in business and ready to continue their mission. So over here is our modular kind of cutting area. Britt Howard is an artist at heart. When I went to college, I thought I won't become an artist because I need to provide for my child. I had a child when I was in high school and I wanted to, I thought I'll always be an artist, but I need a career. And then in going to college and figuring out what my career could be, it, it is art, it is who I am. So eventually that led her to start a creative design studio called the Portland Garment Factory. PGF works with artists, designers, and major brands like Coca-Cola or Intel to produce soft goods. Think dresses, tote bags, pillows, or even large art pieces like this one called Vivid Dream. That's a project that's really, uh, I'm still so excited about and will continue to be. A big part of their mission is to make the products that they produce more sustainable. And they do that in a few ways, like using certain types of material and reusing their waste when they can. All of the waste that we can't make into something else goes into this bin. And so these smaller pieces technically could get sewn together to make, I don't know, anything really, but a lot of times the smaller pieces will get pulverized. To make stuffing for say a dog bed, this bin could be enough to fill just one. Uh, and then yeah, this is where all the sewing happens. Now after the original shop was lost in a fire last April, the new factory space is getting busier each day. And as someone who grew up in the Portland area, it means a lot. I feel really grateful to the community for supporting us along the way and continuing to support us when we reopened. I feel like it's a testament to the port what Portland is truly, which is a creative, uh, immersive, collaborative, and um, loving community. Now, the story mentioned a sculpture called Vivid Dreams, and if you'd like to see it, you can. You can stop by Stello in downtown Portland. We'll have a link at kptv.com for more. Back to you. Boy, super interesting. Io, thank you.